So one way to solve this question, if it comes up on your test, is to just take each of the answer choices in the Roman numerals and plug them into the equation and see if they work out. But we wouldn't learn anything from that, so I wouldn't recommend that approach as the one to use at home. Instead, let's try to use some number line reasoning. We're told that something squared minus itself, in this case it's xy, so xy squared minus xy, whatever, something squared minus itself is equal to 6. So I can pull out that thing out as a common factor, that xy. So I'd have xy times parentheses, xy minus 1. And imagining that on a number line, I can say that, you know, if, if xy is right there, then where is xy minus 1? It would be just one unit to the left of xy. So we're looking at the product of two numbers, which are one away from each other on the number line, and their product is 6. Can you think of two numbers that are one away from each other on the number line whose product is 6? I'm thinking 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. We just need to consider also the mirror image, which would be negative 2 times negative 3. So plotting these on the number line, xy would be 3 and xy minus 1 would be 2. And on the negative side, xy would be negative 2 and xy minus 1 would be negative 3. So the big inference here is that the product xy is either 3 or negative 2. Now that we know that, they're asking for the value of y in terms of x. So if xy is 3, y would be 3 over x. And if xy is negative 2, then y would be negative 2 over x. So it looks like Roman numerals 2 and 3 both work, and therefore the correct answer is e. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.